I'm also passing along this uptick in interest rates. They're very slight, though, 2.19% for a 10-year note. I think that's what my wife and I were paying per day when interest rates were a lot higher. I'm giving away my age. Suffice it to say that mortgages are still cheap, even with this backup in rates. Which brings us to real estate titan Eric Trump. I think you know his father, Donald. Eric, good to see you. It's great being here, Neil. You know, I, w- I do want to get into politics, Eric, right. but I'd be remiss if I, if I looked at what's going on here with rates and this bond market bubble you hear talk about. Sure. And maybe the PIMCO's fortunes fading and under $100 billion in assets is a preview of coming attractions, a big sell signal. What do you say? Well, listen, you know, they've been talking about low rates for a very long time. and We've seen low rates create, you know, many, many, many bubbles. And, you know, I, I hope rates don't go up to the point that all of a sudden it creates another bad situation where people start defaulting on mortgages at the but same time. did it time. create a bubble? Did it get too risky? that those people that, oh, I can't go wrong with interest rates. You know, it's so artificially low now. And listen, if you look back to the early 90s, it was so artificially high, right? I mean, you remember much better than I do, but you remember when rates were 20, 21 percent, right? Are you so, assuming I'm not old? You, know, you, you have to be right. somewhere in the middle of that. And, you know, I think you need to get back to healthy points. But, but does that affect you or your dad or the company yeah. when it comes to buying properties knowing that, wait a minute, if rates are, or, or bonds are indicative of a bubble, so too is all this real estate you guys have. Well, we're a different type of company. I mean, we believe in having a lot of our net worth in actual hard, tangible assets. We find the best properties in the world, and we buy them, and we hold them kind of generationally. And so, Yeah, the, the rap against your company is your dad sometimes overpays, but he is not in this for the short haul, right? He, he buys a property, buys a locale, checks out the area and holds on forever. I don't know about the overpayment, but, uh, you know, we've bought a lot of great properties. We like actually buying either out of bankruptcy. We like buying in downturns where we can go in with our own money. We buy a property. So, again, we're we're less subject to rate shifts and, you know, how that works, you know, as as it, you know, comes to leverage. Well, running the show now that he's running for president? No, we're uh, we're, we're all still having a lot of fun. Believe me, he's he's very, very involved. But Ivanka Don and I are... Yeah, he's um, you know, he's he's a man who loves his business. Yeah. Um, but he also loves what he's doing from a political standpoint. I mean, he's so sick of the nonsense in this country. He's so sick of, you know, government officials who never get anything done, who create massive problems. He's a patriot. He loves America. I mean, he is so American. He's serious himself. about this. The rap against him is it's all for the business, all to market the business, yeah. all to promote the Trump name. Listen, he's he's number one in every poll. Um, yes. he's Are, doing. Does that surprise you? Honestly, it doesn't. Um, I know the man that he is. You know, I sit across the table like this every single day with him. I mean, he's this special, special person. You know, everything he's ever done in life, he wins at. He's just a... Did any of you advise against it, Dad? Whatever your opinions on, and, you know, his acumen and all, no one doubts that. Sure. That you knew and know what he's in for. Yeah. That it's not worth it, Dad? No, Don't do it? Uh, honestly, we, we saw the frustration. You know, he'd read the paper and he'd just kind of shake his head. You know, you've got to be, you've got to be kidding me. And... For him, it's actually a very selfless thing if you think about it. I mean, here we have a business. We're doing tremendously well. We're opening up hotels, best hotels all over the world, the best residential buildings all over the world, golf courses, et cetera. Right? So to put all of that aside, to run for an office, to get you know, shot at by every media outlet in the world. I think it, he it loves takes it. A lot of I think he loves it. it. It takes a special person to do that. And, I know, but I, I think he loves it and loves the attacks and loves coming back at the attackers that the, he was born for this moment. Well, well, don't we need that in a leader? I mean, it... it doesn't America need that in a leader fundamentally? But do you ever tell America, right, Dad, you kind of went overboard on John McCain. You went overboard on the Mexicans. What do you say? You know what? So many of those, those various topics, I mean, look at veterans, right? I mean, he's really brought that to the forefront. Look at illegal immigration. He's really brought, brought that to the forefront. Now, no, 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 Dad. So, so, I'm so not meaning le- to disparage him or you. Yeah. I'm just saying, do any of you advise, I mean... Hey, Dad, there's a better, a different way to say this. And he's a special person. I think what, what people are going to learn throughout this campaign is he says what's on his mind. There is no sugarcoating. It's Trump talk, right? I mean, there yeah. is no sugarcoating. But they're going to no, have the not, knives no, out next week at the debate. And, and I'm sure. You never advise them what to do, how I'm to say I'm sure they will. But also, then you watch other people. And I was watching Hillary this weekend, right? And, you know, it's just, it's so scripted. Everything's so scripted. I mean, even the, the point he made the other day, you know, these people are just, they read off teleprompters. Why don't we eliminate teleprompters and let's see how well they do on the national stage? And, I think that's what Americans want as a leader. It's only I can't what I would stand want as people who depend on prompters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No fairness. Could move up a little bit. I really can't stand people who. No, that is one thing that's kind of fun. But I think the more he succeeds, the more they're going to come after him. You saw sure. the Jeb Bush attack ad. Others follow suit. But you know what? The Carly more- Fiorina saying, "Well, you know, brush up. You've got to learn these issues." And you're going to see more of that. You know, the more they attack him, the better he does. I mean, he's who he is. He's a very genuine guy. 
Also, I think the thing that's really fascinating is how many groups from all different sides of the aisle have kind of come to support him. I mean, there's not a day where my Twitter account doesn't get a new union group or this or that, which, you know, maybe traditionally wouldn't be on the Republican side, but also knows the person that he is. I think you'll have a lot of that crossover, and I think that makes him a pretty special candidate. Why doesn't he use you kids and Ivanka more sure. on the campaign side? Or is he trying to shield you from this? No, not at all. And, and really? we're around, and I've gone to so many of his rallies. I was in Alabama with him last week. He had 35,000 right. people. I mean, it was it was great. And, you know, we're doing great as a company, right? And, and, and the three of us... Is it understood that if he makes it to the White House, are you running the show? Who's running the show? The three of you running? The three of us. We all have really? such separate and distinct so jobs. So you guys don't need food tasters or anything like that? No. You're all getting along? No, hopefully no food tasters. No, listen, we've got an amazing organization. We're building great properties all over the world. And, you know, it's really nice to have a father. I mean, it's actually taught me a lot where he has immense trust in the three of us to do what we do every single day you know, for the company. And it allows him to go out and really devote the majority of his attention to something he really cares about now, which is, you know, which is politics. Which he is, says he could self-fund a campaign. And so far, he hasn't had to spend a lot of money because the, the media attention he gets yeah. enables the campaign to go on. But do you, as, as an heir to a vast fortune, worry that he's going to blow it on this presidential run? Honestly, he's an incredibly smart guy. Um, but I think his point with self-funding is, hey, if somebody gives you $5 million, you are beholden to that person in perpetuity. That's not how it should work. So he will always turn down big money room. like that? Listen, I, people, people write checks. They send in certain money. He just doesn't go out campaigning for it. And he doesn't. But he is open to PACs that will raise money on his behalf. He can't control that anyway. No, that's right. right. That's right. right? And, and, and listen, I guess, I guess that is what it is. But he likes writing the check. If he has to fly somewhere, he likes playing, you know, paying to to, to fly his plane to whatever their respective location is. It makes him feel good. It makes him feel that he's not beholden to other people. And, you know, Hillary's talking about, you know, kind of the, the campaign rules and, you know, finance rules and this and that. Yet if you go down the top 10 supporters that she has, they're the biggest companies in yeah, the Yeah, I don't nation. know if I were, it's, she, I would it's, be it's, it's a little talking ironic. about ethics well and campaign today, rules. And but um, this campaign and the money it costs and all of that, uh, your father, ironically, is, has gotten support from the most unlikeliest of places, the economist and commentator uh, Paul Krugman comes to mind, sure. who says that his reviews are more respective of reality yeah. than, than that of other conservatives who tend to uh, always want low, low, low taxes and not to punish companies that ship jobs abroad. Your, your father's open to higher taxes on the wealthy, I believe. Sure. He's, he wants to penalize those companies that ship jobs overseas. What is he? But is your dad a moderate, a liberal? What is he? I think he's an anti-waste. Um, I mean, he just, he believes in efficiency. He doesn't believe in nonsense. He doesn't believe in waste. When you say 19 trillion around him, I mean, he literally, his head looks like it's going to explode. I mean, he is so disappointed. You're with talking that. about the debt, not the, his net worth. The, the, the debt of okay. the United States. I mean, it, it is, and by the way, that's not even including personal debt. As I you know, know, I know. Mortgages, student loans, credit cards. Unfunded et cetera, et cetera. liabilities of all sorts. No, that's 50, yeah. just, just on the government side, right? That's 57,000. Yeah dollars a person. That's insane. I mean, we're giving $150 billion, as everybody knows, to Iran. The Tappan Zee Bridge, right, which we're building you know, just north of here, it's a $5 billion bridge. We're giving 30 bridges away to Iran. I mean, are, are we not the craziest people in the entire world? And, and that's what really makes his blood boil. Real quickly, do you think your dad, if he fails, is setting the stage for you? In other words, he's going to be Joe Kennedy. He doesn't get the brass ring. Maybe his son, Eric, will. Listen, I've never seen the man fail at anything in his life. I mean, everything he touches, and I've said this to you before, really turns to gold. I, I think he's going to go all the way. Okay, he's I know that, to go but all the way. would you be interested? In you know this? what? I really haven't thought about it. Um, oh, come on. Uh, no, no, I mean it. Uh, come on. Listen, we're, we're doing the coolest projects around the world. We're doing great hotels on every continent. We're building the greatest golf courses, big, biggest buildings. I mean, we're doing great as a family. We're Is that a, a rule in your family it. that everyone not only has to play golf, but be damn good at it? I wish I was better, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tell them, the, the second I'm a scratch golfer, fire me because I'm doing something wrong. But Does it count? For example, I'm very good at miniature golf, but that doesn't count, does we'll, it? We'll, we'll get you out to the Trump courses. Yeah, no miniature yeah. right. Trump courses, but we'll get you out. Eric Trump, thank you very, very thank much. You know. He's the EVP over at the Trump Organization. Impressive bunch of kids, I tell you. And